Gamebreak Tools has been updated, it works with Blender 4.5, and there is only one new feature, but it could be really powerful. It is post-generation scripts. I'll demonstrate it in a second, but here is another important detail. This version of Gamebreak Tools should work with Blender versions from 4.1, to 4.5. Usually we only add the newest features for the latest Blender version, but lately the API has not had crazy changes, so we can support more Blender versions for now. Okay, let's check out the post-generation script. The new option is here, and when you enable it, you'll have to set the script that you want to run. This is a script that I'll be running, and obviously you need to know how to script to use this. This particular script changes the names of the generated game rig bones from the default of DEF to GRT. So if I generate this rig, you'll see that the bones are named DEF. But if I enable the script and generate again, first we'll get this warning telling you to make sure that the script that you're running is safe. We've been seeing more and more malicious scripts for Blender, so be careful. So I'll press OK, and now if I check my bones, you'll see that they've been renamed with the GRT prefix. I could tweak the script and just delete this part, and now if I generate again, the prefix will be completely removed. So as long as you can script, this can be extremely powerful, and if there are things that you need to tweak after you generate your game rig, then you can automate them with this new feature. As always, Game Rig Tools is available for free on Gumroad. With optional donations, a recommended donation of $15 is highly appreciated. Thank you, and enjoy Game Rig Tools.